Hey everyone, today we're going to be discussing dry shampoo, what it is, and how to apply it. Now, if you don't know what dry shampoo is, it's pretty much a product that you spray onto your scalp in between your normal shampoos, and it removes the oils and gives volume to your hair. And it also saves water. If you supplement two of your normal water and shampoos per week, you can save over a thousand gallons of water in a year. So I think that's pretty good. I like to save water and I like a product that helps me get in and out the door quickly and I'm conserving my hair at the same time because if I don't shampoo my hair every day I notice it's more shiny, it's more healthy, um, the color lasts longer, it's just a win-win situation. I've tried various kinds of dry shampoos. I've tried Tresemme, I've tried Suave, Salon Graphics, Refresh, Batiste, Canra, Snappy, and recently I've purchased so gorgeous from Sally Beauty Supply for around three something or four something. It was on sale. I still haven't tried this one. I'm always looking to try new dry shampoos just because you know I'm, I'm trying to see if I can find something at the store that I can buy without having to go online to get it. Sometimes things are hard to come by in certain areas. So my favorite dry shampoo is Bautiste. Now I used to get this at Sally Beauty Supply and I noticed recently they've stopped carrying it so I was kind of disappointed so I asked an employee what's going on with that and they said basically they're not carrying Bautiste anymore but it's been replaced by this brand called Refresh and this is in Flower Power so I'm told that this is replacing the blush scent in the Bautiste line and Refresh also makes an original scent, it's a green can so I guess that would replace the Bautiste in original scent. I tried the Refresh and it worked pretty good. Not as good as the Bautiste, it was less powdery, but I wouldn't mind purchasing Refresh if I couldn't get my hands on Bautiste anymore. I purchased this for $5.99 at HarmanDiscount.com. I'll put the link below and this was $5.99 a can, so I thought that was an outstanding deal, so I went ahead and bought several of them and I met the $50 minimum purchase for free shipping, so that was awesome. Now, I know Ulta carries this product, but I've only seen it online. I haven't seen it in the stores, and I've called around a whole bunch of Ultas close to me or in the area, and nobody has it. So I would definitely get this online if you can't find it in your area. To me, it's worth the money. The other dry shampoos that I've tried, like the Suave, for example, and I've tried this Bile Silk one, Tresemme, they smell pretty good, but you know what, they really don't absorb oils like I need them to. Or it absorbs oils for a short time and then my hair falls flat. Or it just leaves a film on my hair, heavy film, so I don't like that. So, so far, Batiste works the best. First got this, yeah. I just used to spray it all over my hair, you know, just go crazy with it. Just spray <sighs> like it was hairspray and yeah, it worked. But I noticed after doing that method for a couple weeks, I started getting an itchy scalp, dry scalp and then dandruff. Oh. So there is a way to properly apply dry shampoo so that it will work for you and not create additional problems. So I figured out a way and I've heard a lot of people say that they don't use dry shampoo for that reason because they have itchy scalp afterwards or they get dandruff or just something doesn't go right. So if you want to see how to properly apply dry shampoo so you don't get dandruff and you don't get the itchies then keep on watching. Starting with day old hair that hasn't been washed, go ahead and brush it and take your dry shampoo. I'll be using Bautiste today and shake it up. Take a rat tail comb or something that has a pointed end on it and make small long sections that go pretty much all the way to the back of your head. Get the product and spray the left and right side of it, front and back, whatever you want to call it. Lay the hair down, take another section, do the same thing. Repeat the process until you get to your ears. By doing it in this method of sections, instead of just spraying it all over your head like hairspray, this allows even distribution of the product pretty much on the roots, not so much on the scalp, but it's close enough to the base to where it absorbs all the oils that are on your head and will still give you volume and it won't irritate your scalp. Flip all the hair over and let that sit and start on the other side. Don't be alarmed by the white appearance of the product. It's going to disappear. Oh, 
go ahead and lay all the hair down and check out the back of your scalp and see if you might need a little bit more back there. I just pick up a little bit of hair from there and just spot spray if needed. Pretty much the back side because we really didn't spray that. Okay, you're going to just let it sit for a couple of minutes, I get dressed, and then come back. Start rubbing the product into your hair. As you can see, a lot of it has already started to disappear, which is great. And just keep working it in until you pretty much see it vanish. You can already see that my hair has more volume now and doesn't look as limp as it used to. Go ahead and brush it out. Style as desired, I'm using a Revlon Ceramic 1.5 inch barrel curling iron. I didn't use any heat protectant spray because my hair has product in it from the day before and if I use the spray then it's only going to weigh it down. But it's up to you, everyone's hair is different. I'm taking decent sized sections with this curling iron and I'm curling the hair back away from the face. I'm doing this before I go to work so I really don't like when my hair gets in my way while I'm at work. And we are almost done. Check out the roots. All the grease is gone. Next, I apply a light finishing cream, Frizzy's Secret Weapon, just to add shine and a little bit of control for those flyaways. Apply mostly to the ends. I usually apply like half an inch in size. That should do. To finish, I usually use Living Proof No Frizz Flexible Hold Hairspray. It works pretty well. Here's the final look. I hope you guys like it. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.